Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel. I'm an interpretive tarot card reader and this will be a special reading for you in regards to love. Now this will be a reading channeling to see who this person is Cancer, um, what we can learn about them and about their current presence in your life. Um, and I will be doing an extended version to explore how and when potentially this person may come forward in regards to their feelings, Cancer. So um, if you're interested in the extended version, the link will be available below in the show more section. Uh, otherwise, let's jump into the reading and see what comes up for you, uh, Cancer. Okay. If you are after a private reading with me, Cancer, please feel free to reach out. My email is listed below in the show more section. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for your kind likes, subscribes, donations, etc. So thanks so much, Cancer. Let's have a look um, and lay out some cards here. Who is your secret admirer, Cancer? Okay, the first card is you have the Ace of Pentacles. So it could be a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Uh, Ace of Pentacles can be associated with newness. So I think for some of you, this may be a new person that has entered your life. Okay, so it might be a new friend, a new acquaintance, maybe someone you connected with on social media. Uh, it could be someone that you've recently joined um, an online forum group or recently connected with on dating apps. So you've got Tinder, uh, Instagram, social media, eHarmony, RSVP. Um, it can also be someone you've met through a working chapter, okay? So the pentacles can represent money-making opportunities, career, um, and professionalism. So it may be someone you know through work, Cancer, but sometimes that ace definitely indicates new chapters in the physical realm. So if you've recently embarked on something new, that may be where this person is hiding, okay? Um, you can see the pentacle that's sort of in the undergrowth here. So I feel like this person is uh, introverted in some way. Uh, they're definitely hiding their feelings very well for you, Cancer. But they might have an introverted side to them. Okay, Six of Pentacles, more Earth energy. Uh, they could be very kind and giving, and it sort of follows very strongly to being uh, to working with this person. Uh, the Six of Pentacles could be that they're involved in humanitarian work. Um, this could be someone quite kind, someone quite giving. Um, they could also be musically inclined because we see this character playing this instrument. So they could be someone you know through music. Uh, could be something quite artistic. And they may be really talented in some sort of creative realm. I feel like they're a, um, a creative soul in one way or another. So I do feel like uh, they may have some sort of hobby or creative outlet uh, that they do cancer but they could also work with money let's see what else comes up around this person i mean it could be like legalities laws the justice system as well they may work for these types of things okay the moon has come up so it could be a fellow cancerian here this is very powerful cancer this person is thinking a lot about you because you've come up in their reading channeling your energy um, now, the moon can point to creativity. It can point to someone you may even know through um, emotional support networks. It could be someone that maybe your mother has tried to introduce you to because a divine feminine can be the mother. Uh, the moon card can indicate someone who does have another side to them, maybe an online personality, a pen name, because she, in fact, holds a mask up to herself. Um, so I think in some of, for some of you, this person could work in production, be involved in the uh, creative arts, the performing arts of some kind. Maybe they have a passion for, thing, uh, for storytelling, uh, animation, writing. So I really like that. Um, but they could have Cancerian energy. They could be very kind. They could be very compassionate. Um, but I feel like there's someone who emotionally this person has built up something for you already. Uh, it's almost like there's already some sort of established emotional connection here. And it could also be someone from the past because the moon can be the keeper of the past. So it can be someone you've had a relationship with someone who you've known in the past maybe you were friends once upon a time maybe there was something more something more romantically inclined uh, but it can be someone that's coming from your past re-admiring you uh, re-admiring you sorry cancer maybe trying to channel some love vibes uh your way so this is quite special but they can they they can be very caring so i feel like for some of you this person cares about you a lot okay you've seen that evidenced within them somehow
Okay, the ace. This person has two aces next to them. There could even be multiple people here, Cancer. Let's not ignore that. Two aces can indicate two very potent energies coming forward, both in admiration of you. Now, the Ace of Cups does have a lot of Piscean energy to it, so it can be someone under the sign of a Pisces. Um, it can also be someone with Pi I, Pisces like elements, okay? So a water sign, quite creative, quite loving, quite caring. Someone who's quite emotionally sensitive uh, comes to mind here. But I think there's a lot of fantasy happening. Uh, cancer. This person is fantasizing a lot about you. And if they're from your past, they're fantasizing a lot about your past, about your history together. The Ace of Cups can point to someone who is, um, I, I often associate with, with uh, tradition and religion. So it can be someone who's quite a traditionalist, uh, maybe with customs, values, languages, culture. Um, they could also be quite religious and or spiritually natured. You may meet through some sort of new task, um, a new ability, a new, a new a new undertaking of some kind. But I think this is actually pointing to two separate people, in particular because we have two signs so far uh, that have come up in this reading. There could be a love for water, a love of water, um, and then we see the chalice. So they could work in the creative arts for a lot of you. Um, it can also be someone who's been a bit mutable, a bit back back and forth. It could be someone that's sort of give, give, given you a bit of mixed signals, Cancer. Perhaps they've expressed interest, but then they've taken it back or they've disappeared. Perhaps in the past, they've expressed that they like you, but they never actually acted on it. There's something here that was, I think, was a block, but I think that Six of Pentacles is showing that this person has, has, uh, has accepted to come full force with things, interestingly enough. Okay, the King of Wands could have fire energy. In particular, there's a Leo-like uh, symbol here um, carved out in stone. So I'm leaning more towards someone under the sign of a Leo. Um, I mean, Leo is quite a fired energy. I mean, he looks very athletic. So it can be someone who is quite attractive, athletic, um, maybe quite physical. Uh, I do feel like... Um, with the King of Wands, I do feel like they have a competitive side to them. They could be quite jealous, maybe. Um, you could know them through physical activity or, or, or respect them already. I feel like they respect you. I do. I feel like they have a respect for you already, Cancer. So I feel like it can be someone you know through work, maybe through the community, maybe like family, friends, if there's like a, a, an introduction through the family. But I think there's there's a respect here for you. It can be someone who's quite adventurous, someone who travels often or is often on the move. They may lead quite an active and or spontaneous lifestyle. So that might be how they're coming across. They could also be in positions of leadership, management. Um, they take initiative. They could also have made some sort of sexual or, or flirtatious advance at you before uh, cancer. So you may have noticed this and he's very perked up. Um, it could also be someone, it's almost like he's looking to the Ace of Cups. So it might be someone who is approaching some sort of new element in their life. Uh, there's there's some sort of new change um, or undertaking, as I've mentioned, that this person is approaching, actually. You might notice a lot of newness around this person, and it, uh, it could definitely be um, this one here. But they could also be quite stubborn natured, I feel like, with the, the carved out Leo here. Also, what comes to mind is something that was cemented or concrete, something quite concrete. Um, it could be just in their personality. They could be quite stubborn. Maybe they're quite solid on things. Um, but I feel for some of you, it's something you've put in concrete. It's almost like you file this person away, Cancer. You've made them either, you know, you've put them in the friend zone or they're an ex. It's almost like you have them categorized as something. So I think of category for some reason. Uh, Maybe this is stereotyping. I'm leaning more towards you've you've sort of filed them away um, somehow. So that's what's coming up around this person. But I do feel like um, they have some sort of familiarity about them. I do feel like, especially because the moon is at the center, it could even be someone who's offered you something traditional before. So I definitely feel for a lot of you Cancers, there's an ex. 
you know, coming into your birthday period, you might hear from someone from the past, you know, that may come forward, but obviously we'll investigate that uh, in the extended reading, which I'll be continuing on with uh, Cancer, to have a look at when and how potentially this person will come forward and how they will make it plain to you that they are interested romantically. So um, please feel free to join me for the extended reading. Otherwise, I really do appreciate your support, your viewerships, uh, likes, shares, subscribes, donations, etc. So a big thank you to everyone out there who has been doing that. Of course, if you are after a personal reading with me, all the information that you require is listed below in the show more section, Cancer. Um, otherwise, I hope you are taking care of yourselves and your loved ones, and hope for sh hopefully we shall be connecting uh, sometime next week.